Hello, and welcome to a new Let's Play. And it's not Parasite Eve 2, I just got on here because... Well, you can see it at the top, it's in the title for God's sake. Uh... You know what, I miss the old uh, format, whatever you were it as. You used to have these things in folders, man, but look at it, it's all, all over the place so that you can see... Project Diva F down there, Limbo, and Worms, Five Fantasy VI that I haven't fully played through yet. They got Pass ID 2, which I LP'd last year, and technically a bit through this... No, actually, did I complete it before the start of this year? I can't remember, my phone is going off. Is it a number I recognize or not? It is a number I don't recognize, therefore I can't be asked to answer it. That, that is my policy. You never know. It could be like, you answer the phone, it's either a wrong number or it'll be like, Oh, we want to sell you our product, blah, 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 I, and I don't know what to expect of that shit, so I don't answer it, you know? I've, I've freaking, like, checked my answer machine, like, in the past, and they had plenty of those, so I know what to expect from that, usually. Even though I've never answered the phone when it's a number I don't recognize. But whatever! So that's the point. Where was I? I'd like, I'm not sure if I finished helping this game right here this year, like early this year, or if it was towards the end of last year. Probably, actually, now I think about it, it did go into this year as well. But that was, that was from the October special last year, and it ended up becoming a regular LP because of how long it was. It was ridiculous. But it's that time of the year again, it's the 13th. Uh, if I re I don't know. Maybe I'll re- I don't know, because like in, when I actually get to the game itself, this feels like the screen changes size, or maybe it's just the way I edit it, and I end up like cutting out part of the top, but you can see like the date there anyway. The time is an hour behind though, because uh, clocks must have gone forward at some point, and uh, the PS3 did not get the memo. Anyways, Resident Evil. I do not know why it says PS3. I mean, look at this. PS is in PlayStation 1, and it has a description and all that. Why not for this one, man? I bought this yesterday on the PSN, and uh, it took forever to download. It took hours. And I was like, I was actually playing Project Diva F all the way down here, and. Uh, Kind of random to play for it again. I didn't realize because this is a different user account on the uh, PS3 here, which is my original one, but I've been using my other one the whole time. So, like, every achievement I unlocked through those games I didn't have. But anyway, I was just playing out the past time, and I'm wasting time here when I could be just playing this bloody game that I've never played before. You know? Like, for the October special, I'm always like, I, I almost, well, I did, I forgot all about it. I was like, oh, fuck, it's September now. Oh, that was right, the corner. And, like, earlier this year, maybe even last year, I was thinking, maybe I should help play Resident Evil. I've never played it before. It's got a bunch of games in the series. I mean, I've played through most of the Silent Hill games. The only ones I haven't played through now are ones I haven't played and I can't be asked right now. So it's just like, I'm running out of horror games to play for October. In fact, I might only LP two games for October this year because I'm running out of games to play. I mean, if I had, like, a working computer that could play... You know, PC games really well. I'd probably, possibly look into that. Maybe link up a control pad, because I suck at the mouse and keyboard and all that. But anyways, I'm stalling. This, I wonder if this is the original PS1 version, or if it's the updated one. We shall see. If it's an updated version, I hope they haven't altered the voice acting, because that's one of the few things I know about this game. That it has hilariously bad voice acting. Wait, actually, if it's a PS3 version, does that mean this is gonna... Oh, it does! It has a trophy system! So I can play the vote in Parasite Eve 2, isn't it? They're just like, why don't the PS1 games on this not have achievement system? It makes it more interesting, you know? 
Because then you'd be like, oh, once you like actually clear something optional, you're just like, oh, here's an achievement for your troubles. Wow. <laughs> what a way to start. It's like... Uh, uh. He was just trying to get out of bed. No save data exists in most create, yes. You know, another annoying thing is, even when it took hours to install, I had to freaking... Well, no, download. I have to still install it, just like... I started the, the PS3 up and I was like, Alright, let's do this now, right? New day, let's get this recording started. And it's like... You still gotta install it. Fuck. At least it's nothing like Bioshock. I remember when I installed that game years ago. Took forever. I can blow be displayed while that is being used to not switch off the... So... That just indicates autosave, probably. Or maybe just save in general, I don't know. What are the options? What are the controls? I know, this is like, I don't really, you know, I've never played a Resident Evil game before. Like, the closest I've played is a demo for Project, and no, not Project Evil, this was Project Zero. I don't even know what game I'm even talking about anymore. I remember playing the demo for Resident Evil 5 years ago. And I sucked at that, but I do know that the series had apparently taken a change in direction where it started off more survival kind of horror and then went more action packed and then kind of expanded more on that. And only in recent what release of the newer one have they gone back to more of the survival horror focus or something. I don't know. What I do also know is that uh, it has probably tank controls. Awkward camera angles, hilariously bad voice acting, and uh, limited supplies of ammunition. So I've just like been thinking, will I be uh, relying more on close range weapons to conserve ammo, or just run away like a little bitch most of the time? I feel I'm, well actually I honestly feel I'm going to completely screw it up and waste ammo. But I will try to preserve it, and if or if that fails, I'll make a montage at the end of this LP, potentially, of every time that I do that. Although that would be, like, ridiculous. So what we got? Hmm. Whatever. Just like, I'll do this the old-fashioned way, right? Just like... Well, does it not have any difficulty settings? Or maybe it's when we actually start the game. Like, yeah, let's start on the hardest difficulty. Resident Evil. Evil. Okay, we need the subtitles. Uh... The new control scheme or the original. I have no idea, whatever. Probably made a big mistake already. Question, how do you like your games? One, like climbing a mountain for filling, but takes a lot of work. Oh, this is the difficulty setting. Of it. Like going on a hike, good exercise, but not too strenuous. Like taking a walk, you can relax and enjoy yourself. Well, I'm gonna be ballsy. I'm not gonna climb a mountain, because I've never played a Resident Evil game, and I would be way too ballsy. I'm going the Silent Hill 2 approach where I'll probably end up like being like, No, this is too hard, I'm gonna have to switch. Yeah, this is definitely the updated version, isn't it? So we could either be this guy or you. That better not mean that the voice acting's improved. I wanna hear about the Jill sandwich. So we go with that one. You better not have changed the voice acting, you son of a bitch! 
That was what I was looking forward to the most. I'd be disappointed. Probably is. 1998. The team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest. It must be because the voice acting doesn't sound as cheesy. Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. I will just stand casually and fire at. Oh, he's he's dead. I'm emoting. Also, we already got first part and already freaking lag on the record. Come on! You know, it may be updated graphics and all that, but. Sure didn't really emote for that, did they much? Just like, oh, he's dead. I mean, like the voice acting isn't the cheesy. I mean, it's still not exactly spot on, brilliant, absolutely fantastic. But still, Chris, this way. It's better than what I had good original, and I'm disappointed. <laughs> God damn it! I wanted hammy cheesy voice acting. Classic, you know, spooky house kind of thing. Then enter the survival horror. I mean, that's what you want, man. Members left now: Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. Barry, I know him. Chris is. Sort of. I know he's the guy who calls her Jill Sanders. What is this place? That's all I know. Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. You better ham it up at some hey, point, guys. Where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. Don't become a Jill sandwich out there. Or was it... It must have been Jill sandwich. It was... Something like that. I'm disappointed. I mean, I should have known. They'd, like, have various versions of it, you know, released. But they don't seem to have the PS1 the store option anymore. Or maybe they do and it's just hidden. What the hell do they think they are? Freaking YouTube? Like YouTube with all its constant layout changes? Why'd you do that? It's like I remember back in the day you'd access the PlayStation Store and it'd be like, Oh, you got a section for PS1 games. I don't see it anymore. 
So I just looked up Resident Evil in the search. And I was like, original Resident Evil. And it's like, ah, okay, this is the one, right? Nope, it's the uh, re-release. I don't know by, by what way. Maybe this was the one that was released, like, be updated on GameCube and now it's on PS3 as well. I don't know, but it kind of looks like it. And it's probably been updated a bit for PS3 as well. I don't know. I wanted to play the original in all its hammy glory. But here we are, updated version. I am a bit disappointed by that. I wanted cheesy voice acting. Cheesy, 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 like cheesy, like this. Like I'm kind of like doing a dance here. Will you take the ink ribbon? Oh god, this game. How much you want to bet I will fail miserably and hopefully like Parasite Eve 2 end up being completely badass by the end of it. Or at least, you know, adequate to get through the game. So I've got... Okay, good. I actually have, you know, something other than that because I'd run out of ammo, I imagine. Still gonna use that for now, though. Ah, uh, these fixed cam wrangles I've heard so much about. Much like Silent Hill. When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. A picture of two knights striking each other, the short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight while the long sword has pierced the head of the other wait wasn't there a run option Not i think you better yet. take a look at this what is it it's paint blood Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Come on, he'd be all right. He was the all selectable character. Yeah, it's square. Anything else I can examine? Will you take the emblem? From the star screen, select an item, select the examine command, the details of the item will be displayed. You know how games, like, people complain about that? It's just like, if you've played a Resident Evil game before, you'd be like, yeah, I get it. I haven't, though. So, you know, it's kind of helpful that it's kind of just like, oh, do this and that. Because, you know, different control scheme. I won't know what the hell to do. Well, okay, it's about a si it's similar so far to Silent Hill. Emblem. It's I thought that was all I was gonna say. It's like, yeah, that's helpful. It's gold all around the outer edges due to frequent fitting. Well, that's not really like helping much information really. It's a defensive item. I don't get it. Not necessarily. Is it like a healing item or what? I don't know. It didn't tell me any information on that. Or I'm just being stupid. Very. Well, that was an awkward pause, wasn't it? There's nothing else. I was like, I'm still just thinking, it's like, surely there's an option to put on that cheesy voice acting in the original. Surely. But no. Alas, there is not. Barry is examining the bloodstains.
That is a proper pose right there. That's classic. Makes me think of Parasite Eve. It's an old typewriter. You can save your progress. Use the ink ribbon. I don't like the sound of that. We have free ink ribbons. That kind of gives me an indication that there's a limited amount of saves. You son of a bitch. If that's the case. I'm gonna be stuck in this room for the remainder of this part, probably. A large, filth-encrusted jar. Well, I suppose I'd better go explore. What an odd way of going through a door. Couldn't be bothered to animate it? I mean, they did, technically, but... Okay, this is nice. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know how to fight yet. I haven't tried using my, you know, gun. I don't know what I'm doing. All that controls should point out, right? Attack, aim. Okay. Okay, I get it. I don't, because uh, I'm kind of fixed camera angles. Ah, I'm a Jill sandwich. Ah, get off me, you piece of shit! I can't see you. Yeah, so much for preserving ammunition, right? Screw it. I am equipping this. I ain't wasting ammo. It's still alive. Get. <laughs> Am I dead already? Stab him in the crotch. Fuck him up. I am doing very badly at this game. Well, this has been an absolute disaster. <laughs> oh my god, I sucked so badly just there. And I got an interruption from my nephew. While well, playing a horror game as well, how about that? And I noticed that I'd got an achievement. Man. I wouldn't feel so bad about it if, it's, if I... It just still bugs me, man. Why do they have to be the realist version? I wanted the original in all its glory. We got all the stuff here. Too bad we can't play in its original glory. I don't know if I ever find if it probably has got the original in all its glory somewhere on the PSN, but I don't know where the hell it is. Um, still gonna be ballsy, even though I failed miserably. Oh, it can be allocated as well. Wait, no. What's that all about? Same character, but what difference does it make? Oh, I see. Like, oh no, they look slightly different. Do you want to have the cap or the other hats? 
Does that mean we gotta go for the cutscene again? I mean, that zombie was not staying down. Okay, good, we can skip scenes. We're already off to a very rough start. Like, the mind boggles at how bad that was. I mean, seriously. I know it was gonna fail, but not this badly, surely. But nope. Never underestimate how much I suck when playing a game for the first time. I will examine everything again, even if there's no purpose to it. Just compulsory, you know. I think you'd better. I think you'd better take a look at this. Barry. It's paint. Barry, 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 Barry. Let me stare at the screen. Yeah, you can examine it and find out what it is, and then it'll be like, here's the description of the item, but not exactly giving you, like, exactly what you want to know. I want to know what it actually does. Does it heal me? Could I equip it as a shield? Because it doesn't look like it. I'm gonna go the other way. Is there anything else I can check out here? It's locked. You know that zombie when it first appeared? I remember seeing that years ago. It might have been the original version. Well, whatever it was, and it always bugged me when I saw it. It was like, an emblem of armor is carved into the lock. Is that what I use it for? Maybe? But I remember seeing it and wondering what the hell game it was from, because I never could figure it out. It's not necessarily users now. And what the hell are the combine options? I am so screwed because I have to figure out an entire control scheme in a blind let's play. This is why blind let's plays are a bad idea sometimes. It's make me think of Project Zero this is. Except I'm better at using the camera than the gun apparently. It's all locked. An emblem of a sword is carved into the lock. Is the other one a sword? Do you mind? I'm eating over here. Uh, don't mind me. I, I can't even get away. This is one of those games, man. It's one of those games where the game's like, no, man, you don't get, get to have time to do anything. Better report back to Wesker. Hey, Wesker. Uh, fucking zombies, man. Fucking zombies. Uh, might want to look into that, but me... No, I, I'm fine. I don't want to look into it. Fucking zombies, man. What the fuck? Why do they have to be zombies? Get in place! Ah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Do I have to get a headshot? Because there is no way I'll be able to. Oh, oh, my stomach, my stomach aches. Ooh, belly aches. I can't freaking get to the door. I mean, if I could just avoid him and just get the fuck out of there, I'm fine. Barry. What is it? Look out! It's a monster! 
Is that the whole point? Let me take care of it. You're a better aim than me, sir. What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. My stomach hurts, Barry. I was bitten twice. And if I was bitten a third time, I would have been a Jill sandwich. But you didn't call me that. I'm disappointed in you. I doubt it's for healing, honestly. It wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, thought so. Those aren't healing items, you dumbass. You do all the shooting, I'll do the running like a little bitch. You got anything to say? No. There's an indentation where the emblem used to be. There's gonna be puzzles and I'm gonna suck. The way that just pops up there though, maybe it's changed. When a two of running jump through the path to your destiny will open. Clearly connected that painting and clearly connected to whatever the hell it's uh, gonna lead to. I have no idea. What I do know is I'm gonna suck. Jill, help me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Uh, can you run that by me again? I wasn't listening. Did you say not to leave the hall or something? I wasn't paying attention. Do you mind if I push you around? Like, literally? Like a chess piece so you Lulu from Final Fantasy X? You know, just kind of like moves like that. Well, actually, Yuna did the same thing, but... Uh, any healing items, anything, anything at all. Uh, kind of got stomach pains. What is this up here? Is it a door or a painting? Better finish searching the hall first. Which hall do you want me to search? The hall down here, I guess. It's not a hallway, it's a hall. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. This mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. You got the lockpick. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. You know, one other thing I know about this series is they have multiple endings or something. I'll probably get the worst of the worst endings. I just know it. And it'll be like the original Silent Hill when I did a blind let's play of it. Get the worst ending, and then on second playthrough get the best ending. It's locked. An emblem of a helmet is carved into the lock. I wonder if we can actually pick these ones that have the... This is going to take a lot of getting used to. It's not necessary to use the lock pick on a lock. If it's a lock that you can actually, you know, uh, probably get something for. If you can open it by all means, it's not necessary. Apparently. I don't know. Woman drawing water. 
Portraits and photographs decorate the wall. It looks like they could come to life any moment. Probably not, though. I mean, I'm assuming. I know this game's got zombies, but we going that far into the paranormal? I don't know. That'd be like making this into projects. We Did that thing just shine? It's shining! What are you doing? Woman drawing water. Pretty sure it says more than that on the front there, but why is it shining? I think I don't see that. Another photograph sits in a frame. Maybe this person was connected to the mansion somehow. Too bad we can't get a good look at them or anything. I don't like the looks of this. This looks like a goddamn trap. It's locked. An emblem of a sword. Well, you tell me I gotta move that thing, and I do not want to. I'm in bad shape, man. Let's see if I can pick the lock. Highly unlikely, since it's got the emblem shit going for it. What's the point of having a lock pick if you can't use it? Or maybe if it turns out to be one of those things where it's like, oh, it's a lock pick, right? You can only use it once, though. Once you use it, it's gone. I wouldn't be surprised. I can climb on this. I was expecting, you know, to push it, but uh, maybe from the other way. No, 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 no! Don't climb on top. No, don't climb on it. Don't you know how to push things? Okay, you just walk up to it. Push! No, 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 these really are tank controls. Push! Do not like the looks of this floor. Oh, I do not like this camera angle. Looks like spooky spooks might be in here. An eerie picture of the mansion. We're on a cliffside or something? Where the hell are we anyway? Are we in Europe? Or is this America or what? Because that looks more like a castle than a mansion. Then again, there are castles that were essentially mansions rather than traditional sense of way of castle was, I don't know, various art supplies. See? It was... Well, will you take the dagger? Use a defensive item such as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. However, you will not be able to escape when the enemy grabs you from behind. To equip a defensive item, go to the status screen and then select the item from the defensive item and you then select the equipped command. If your defensive item mode is set to manual in the control settings, you push... Ah, uh, you must press L2 to use a defensive item. Okay. But I told you, man, that blood, it was, it was paint all along. That confirms it. It's already equipped. It just says one, so I imagine it's one of those annoying things where it's like, oh, you can use it only once. Uh-oh. Oh, sure, back all the way in here. We're on yet. Fuck you. I ain't fighting you. Okay, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Waste a bit of ammo. Okay, I got him. That was a lucky shot. Is he dead, though? I mean, he is dead, but is he dead, dead? No, he is not. Would you stay down? You got a freaking dagger in your freaking face. First kills are special. I mean, at least we got a trophy system, but I'm still disappointed that's not the original. I wanted hammy voice acting. What we got was average voice acting. I mean, I don't mind that it's upgraded graphics, but I wanted the cheesy dialogue. I did not get the cheesy dialogue. 
this part has been very much fail. And that light still bugs me. <laughs> I didn't realize both... Wait, actually... The right analog turns? <laughs> now it really is like she's doing some kind of weird dance. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. I suppose that's helpful. To what extent, I don't know, because I suck at these controls. But, uh... Oh, well. I was, like, throughout this recording, I was like, you know, uh, maybe I'll go look on the PSN and see if the original PS1 is on, version is on there and play that instead. But I'm like, nah, let's go with this. It's like, maybe, maybe I will, like, help the original someday. Like, the actual original, not the kind of remade version. Simply because I want to see in all its glory... All that cheesy dialogue. That's the thing I was looking forward to the most. But hey. This this is a survival horror game. It's not about the cheesy dialogue. It's about the scary shit and stuff. Although the Resident Evil series is more known for its action oriented stuff. Uh, but it's also got its spooky stuff and stuff. I don't know. I've never properly played a Resident Evil game. Which explains a lot, really, doesn't it? It explains a lot. I sucked majorly in this part, and will f likely suck for the majority of this LP. So, if you're if you're looking for frustration, screaming at your monitors and be like, "You idiots!" This is the LP for you because I'm going to suck at this game, and I will see you next time, viewers. See you next time.